sometimes you will make the, the point is I can share this for the five minutes. So it's the first break, they count always only 50 minutes. The second has to be 30 minutes. So I can make 44 minutes and the computer counts 50. So it makes no sense. around Luxembourg. Don't feel you have to participate in that. Uh, we will be confirming exactly what time uh, and where the bus will be departing from when we're in Luxembourg. So if you don't want to join the guided tour and you just want to explore on your own or just find a nice cafe or restaurant and sit and relax for um, a couple of hours, then you know that's perfectly fine to do. Don't feel that you need to, to join us for it. But uh, we will give you the time to be meeting in the, the guides and then once we, we, we meet there whoever comes along will be uh, conducting the guided tour with them but we'll go over that again a little bit later on as we approach uh, Luxembourg once we head on our way after the comfort stop um, if you have a pen with you keep it handy because I'll be uh, testing your, your knowledge a little bit of some of the region a little, uh, a little game there is a prize to be won. Yes. I've got a gold and silver prizes for you uh, available. Very special. But we'll get to that. Something to look forward to. So a few more minutes and we'll be arriving at the, uh, the comfort stops. So I'll be back on shortly.
Okay, so here we are coming into the service stop. It's just after 11 o'clock now. So if I were to make sure we are all on the same time. So the bus will be departing from here again at 11.35. So we'll have half an hour here, 11.35 departure. So if we can be back on the bus. And that's the small service station just ahead of us there, straight out to the front. We're just going to park in the, the bus depot just here on the right, so just remain seated until we come to a stop. So it's, um, it's actually quite a, a famous region uh, for the production of a, of a certain thing that we've been uh, we've been coming through at the moment. So does anybody know what this region is famous for? Champagne. 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 Yes, that is correct. Um, so it does come from this uh, this region, um, and it was actually the, the Romans. The Romans were the first known inhabitants uh, to plant uh, the vineyards uh, in the Champagne region. Um, so the, the name actually comes from the Latin um, Campania and referred to the, the similarities between the, the rolling hills of the province and the, uh, the Italian countryside of Campania, which is in the uh, south of Rome. So the Romans are responsible for, for starting it all off. So what's our gold prize? Ah, uh, you will find out about your gold prize. It's the most coveted trophy that we have. All related to, to France. So it's actually um, the, the way they make it. Uh, does anybody know how they make the, the bubbles in the champagne? Double fermentation. Ah, we have a winner. You're in here. Not of the prize yet. No, that's not the, the real. That's not the real test. But yes, it's a double fermentation. Um, so the uh, the add yeast, which actually produces and, and makes the bubbles, uh, and the, the first fermentation they do, and then they remove the yeast by by turning the bottles upside down, and they freeze them, and then they remove the the, the yeast, and that's that's the and then it's double fermentation process. So it actually takes about three and a half years to make a, a bottle of, uh, of champagne. And it became uh, the sparkling champagne. It became popular following the death of Louis the Fourteenth in the 1700s. And um, it was uh, his nephew, Philippe II, the Duke of Orleans, became the regent of France. And he enjoyed the, the sparkling version of champagne. And uh, it's featured at his nightly Petite Supers at the, the Palace Royal. So that's how it uh, sparked it all off. Royalty took a tipple for it and uh, everybody else joined in. And it's still, uh, still famous today, of course. And this is the only region where Champagne can actually be called itself Champagne, because this is the actual reason. Uh, champagne isn't the actual drink, it's, it's a sparkling wine, but Champagne is the brand. So. If you have something called champagne, it needs to come from here to traditionally actually be champagne. You've got different ones such as Prosecco and other sort of sparkling wines, um, which are produced in many other regions. But uh, champagne itself, the real stuff, comes from around here. 
of course, it's enjoyed around the world. Many people uh, like to uh, have a sip on it. Mark Twain once commented, commented that uh, too much of anything is bad, but too much champagne is just right. <laughs> Other famous associations with it. Apparently, I don't know how this is true or not, but Marilyn Monroe uh, allegedly was to have taken a bath uh, in 350 bottles of champagne. Oh my God. I don't know if that's true. I'd imagine you'd be a little bit sticky if you came out of that bath. <laughs> you maybe have to have another one, but you know, it's a nice story. <laughs> So we do have a little bit of time uh, before we get to uh, to Luxembourg. So as I say, it's about another two hours, 15 minutes roughly. So I mentioned you might need a pen earlier on. I do have uh, one or two spare ones, but um, if you've got a pen, I'm going to come round and I'm going to give you a little... Very beautiful to see. That may come up in the future, changing from Luxembourg to Reims, but uh, you never know. Today we are going to Luxembourg, which is also very beautiful. And also another country to check off our, our lists of countries visited. How are we doing with the questions? Anybody finished? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody still going? Yes, we're still going. Oh, okay, I'll give you another five minutes. Another five minutes. I know, I'm getting chatty now. <laughs> Is there a prize if you miss all of the questions? Yeah. <laughs> the prize if you miss all the questions, you're going to walk to Luxembourg. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of multiple choice. If you guess, hopefully you'll get something right. And some of them are 50-50, true or false. in the Champagne region. So white wines are all makers remove the black grape skins uh, quickly to prevent the colour of the, the white juice from being stained. So they just take the skins out. And the majority of champagnes are made from a blend but some are also made from 100% Pinot Noir and 100% Chardonnay, so it, it depends on the manufacturer. Be the 15th important royal decree or law that changed the champagne industry in the 1728. Now the choices were A, only the wines of champagne would now be allowed to be uh, transported in bottles. B, at the palace in Versailles, champagne could only be served in cooked uh, coupe shaped glasses. C. He ordered the storing of champagne underground um, so that the, the areas that the Romans had dug under the city of Reims to uh, so make sure it was properly chilled. And D. All the champagne bottles must be made of green glass. So A, B, C, D. Any takers? D. D. It was A. Only wines of the champagne could, would now be allowed to be transported in bottles. All the other wines had to be transported in wooden casks and barrels um, due to tax efficiencies. And uh, this, this new law meant that bottled sparkling wine could be sent directly to people not only within France, but now to England, Holland, Russia, and uh, the colonies, America and beyond. Um, barrels, they were not good for champagne at all. Uh, because they're porous, um, so that means they, they, they breathe. Um, 
so that naturally lets the uh, the gas and the bubbles to escape and left them uh, flat. So that's why they, they ship the champagne in bottles. So A is the answer. Question number four. By French law, a wine can only be called champagne if the grapes are grown in the Champagne region. We talked about this a little bit. 